Welcome to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. I'm Peter Gross, co-host of the original Wild Kingdom with Marlon Perkins and Jim Fowler. For more than 50 years, Wild Kingdom explored wildlife and our natural world. Tonight's episode, and many others, focus on the timeless value of wildlife conservation. Wild Kingdom played a critical role in changing public attitudes about the importance of animals for the health of our planet and our own quality of life. We challenge viewers to learn about animals and get involved in conservation in their local communities. That call to action resulted in more visits to local zoos, nature preserves, and even observing animals in their natural habitats. And that connection with animals benefits all of us in the Wild Kingdom. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom right here on RFD TV. Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom is presented by Mutual of Omaha, the people who pay. This is the western prairie. On these rolling grasslands, bison graze. While high above them, birds of prey search for tiny movements in the short grass. A badger guards its burrow, where deep inside, two youngsters sleep in the cool underground darkness. Soon the cubs will climb out to roam the prairie with their mother for the first time, as the summer of the badger begins. Welcome to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Summer is a time of discovery and adventure for many young animals. But for badger cubs, the first summer begins in the darkness of their underground den. For the first four to six weeks of their lives, the newborn badgers never leave their burrow. But finally, when the young badgers are almost half grown, the day comes when they climb into the sunlight and see their world for the first time. We followed two young badgers through their first summer. Beginning with the day they first emerged from their den on the short grass prairie of northeastern Colorado. We call our story The Summer of the Badger. A hot summer sun scorches the shadeless prairie as a female badger digs for ground squirrels. The nest is empty, but there are others. The summer prairie, like a sea, is alive with life below the surface. From a city of underground homes, prairie dogs watch nervously as the badger passes. Nearby, burrowing owls claim an abandoned den, finding shelter beneath the grass on the treeless plain. Sudden wing beats announce a hunter a coyote following the badger, hoping to share the catch if an occupied den is unearthed. Restless now, the badger passes easy prey nearby, a nest of lark buntings. In this world without trees, the bunting builds its nest on the ground, poor protection for its young. But hunting no longer, the badger hurries past, heading to her den. There her youngsters wait the reason for her concern. For six weeks, they remained in the dark safety of their nest chamber, five feet underground. Now, already half grown, the cubs have emerged, new to the sunlit prairie. The young badgers are new, too, to the prairie predators. On a lofty perch, a golden eagle tenses, uncertain of the prey that has appeared below. Though the playful badgers act like defenseless youngsters, their size demands caution. And now the mother approaches. Many times today, she has returned to check on her youngster's safety. Satisfied there is no danger, she moves to a nearby stream to drink and hunt along the bank. Relying not on stealth or speed, 
but on her ability to dig faster than the burrowing prey she seeks. She is unaware that keen eyes are watching her progress. Now the den unprotected, the eagle takes its chance. does not strike. The youngster's size saved them from the stabbing talons, unnerving the eagle at the last moment. It moves to the stream bank, where it often hunts for small animals. It watches nervously. No match for the full-grown badger. Passing over the den once more, the eagle returns to its perch. But its low flight has alarmed the mother badger. She hurries to check her cubs. This time, the den is empty. The youngsters are gone but not far. Already, they are superb diggers, but instead of searching for prey, one cub carefully chooses an unsuspecting target. In time, the cubs, too, will dig faster than their prey can dig away from them. But now they are more interested in constructing marvels of prairie engineering. Like all youthful games, this one soon pales before the promise of new adventure. A strange scent leads the way. A mother skunk hunting for grasshoppers gathers her family close as the young badger nears. The accurate spray makes his first introduction to a prairie neighbor an unforgettable one. The mother skunk's defensive fury confuses and angers the cub. In months to come, the retreating badger will hunt skunk as prey. But now, Inexperience defeats the youngster. For the skunk, this victory may one day be costly. She has lost fear for what is normally a deadly enemy. But her young are safe. The second youngster seeks adventure beyond the bluff. An anthill, home for thousands of busy ants, demands inspection. The tiny creatures seem no possible threat. Too late, he discovers that an army has invaded his fur. Like his brother, the cub receives a less than friendly welcome to the summer prairie.
As the summer of the badger continued, pointless games gave way to earnest attempts to catch prey. The youngsters were learning the arts of survival. Hunting daily with their mother now, the cubs are watched often by the golden eel from its bluff overlooking the prairie. Though expert diggers, they are still clumsy apprentices to the hunter's craft. A sudden movement alerts one cub. A ground squirrel has carelessly let the badger come too close. The ground squirrel has won the race to its den entrance. Now the advantage is with the swift digging badger. But as the cub busies himself at the den entrance, the squirrel chances a look from the back door. In its escape tunnel, the tiny rodent is unnoticed. The badger will soon dig his way to the squirrel. If it is to escape, it must move now. The cub is much too busy digging to notice that his prey has left. Once more, the ground squirrel is careless. The chase attracts a red-tailed hawk, swift and deadly. Far from its den, the squirrel is an easy target. Its fate is certain. Death is instant and inevitable. The price of carelessness in a world of predators. His prey gone, the young badger moves on to a huge hole in the prairie sod. His brother still digs for the ground squirrel. Mystified by an animal that can disappear into the earth and leave no trace, the exhausted, dirt-covered hunter abandons the still-growing excavation. Once more, the young badger is studied closely by the eagle. And he is watched by other eyes. A bull snake investigating a prairie dog burrow finds the badger blocking its way. Now the snake suffers further insult. The bull snake faces an animal much too large for its crushing coils. Finally, the hunter senses he is being observed very closely. Confused, he abandons the burrow to the strange dirt-covered snake. Though the snake is prey he could easily handle, the badger moves on.
the danger past, the bull snake seeks cover and a less crowded hunting ground. At a new burrow, the young badger meets his first serious challenge. To the cub, the hunting coyote is a real threat. The coyote seeks an opening for a killing hold, but instinctively sensing the danger, the cub defends itself fiercely. An injured leg could cost the coyote its life, making it unable to run down the swift prey it often hunts. It is extremely cautious. The battle ends. The young badger watches exhausted as the retreating coyote concedes him his place on the summer prairie. As the badgers grew, they roamed farther and farther exploring the prairie, but they still relied on their mother for protection and guidance. Now, nearly full grown, the cubs follow their hunting mother. Not far away, prairie dogs are busy repairing the high mound that keeps rainwater from flooding their den. Neighbors are met with a standard greeting, the prairie dog kiss. From the elevated mounds, watchful sentinels scan the surrounding prairie for predators. But some dangers go undetected. At the edge of the prairie dog town, a rattlesnake glides noiselessly to an unsuspecting worker. Still unseen, the rattler shows no sign of attacking, but it moves closer. The prairie dog is large prey for the rattler, and the snake is more interested in the burrow. Though the snake leaves, others will soon come. Every year, as summer ends, hundreds of rattlers invade the prairie dog town, claiming burrows for their winter dens. But these are the prairie dog's greatest enemies. The mother badger can dig to the den's deepest chamber. One cub prefers prey he can see. His quarry is trapped, but reaching it is hard work. Chasing the little rodents seems easier than unearthing them. But with his short, stubby legs, meant for digging, not running, he has little chance. Again, by instinctively seeking its den, the prairie dog becomes easy game for the fast-digging badger. A sudden sound distracts the cub, and he sees an amazing sight, bison largest of all the prairie animals, moving nearer to his frightened brother. The threatened badger seeks safety underground. But he is too late. A mountainous bison threatened to attack.
Ah. Finally, safe in the burrow, the badger hears the thunder of the moving herd. But one cow makes a last futile attempt to attack the badger. The badger escapes, dusty but unharmed, as his brother searches the grass for signs of life. Above, the golden eagle returns from an unsuccessful hunt. Though it soared far through its immense territory, the eagle has made no catch today. And now the young badger, far from his mother's protection, attracts the eagle's searching gaze. Digging into a fresh burrow, the badger may soon be out of reach underground. are needle sharp and strong as a vice. But the badger must face the attack. It is too late to dig in. the badger retreats, but the battle is over. Soon, the cubs will fear no prairie animal, ready to begin life alone with the skills they learned during the summer of the badger. Summer ended and autumn came to the prairie. The badger family parted as each youngster, nearly full grown now, left to establish its own territory. The skills the young badgers learn during their first summer will help them survive as they continue their life on one of the few patches of virgin prairie land remaining today. The great ocean of grass that once swept from the Mississippi to the Rockies is no more. The sod has been buried by the plow and only a few surviving islands of undisturbed grassland are left, irreplaceable relics of the great American prairie once a unique and vast part of the wild kingdom. Mutual of Omaha, the people who pay, has presented Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Mutual of Omaha, helping people find Medicare solutions for over 50 years. To learn more about plan options or how to protect your kingdom, contact us today. Mutual of Omaha, protect your kingdom.